Imagine being able to save lives, protect personal property, prevent bankruptcy, and open up opportunities in the lives of millions of people every single day, all while using your math skills for good. Well, this is reality for actuaries working in insurance. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. From an outside perspective, the insurance industry can seem sort of unethical. It seems like they're taking advantage of people in vulnerable situations, doesn't it? But the truth is that insurance is what makes many of the big life milestones that people experience every single day, it's what makes them actually possible. Think about it, would you feel safe driving a car knowing that if you accidentally hit another car, it could cost you personally out of pocket $10,000 or more? Would you feel confident buying a house knowing that one disaster could wipe out your entire investment? And would you feel confident having a baby knowing that one complication in the hospital could cost you six figures? The truth is that insurance lowers the cost of these unwanted and unexpected events in our lives, making it financially possible for us to have things like a house and a car and to do things like drive a car and have a baby. Insurance allows people, families, businesses, and cities to grow, to plan, and to build with confidence and peace of mind knowing that financially speaking, you're covered. Now, maybe you're still thinking insurance companies shouldn't make so much money. They are essentially profiting off of these unwanted events that are happening to people. And the truth is that insurance companies actually don't want these events to happen because every single time an event like that does happen, it reduces the amount of money they have to give to other people. So to understand this, you really do have to understand how insurance works. And it can be complex, but I'm going to explain it in really simple terms. That's right, give me 15 minutes and you could save 50% or more on your car insurance. Just kidding, you're actually not going to save any money by continuing to watch, but you might earn more. And if you are someone that wants to be an actuary or work in insurance in any capacity really, this is must know stuff because it can come up during interviews. I just wanted to pop in here to say that I was recently doing a coaching call with a future actuary and he said that he was noticing that even during entry level actuarial interviews, he was still being asked about more advanced concepts like insurance rating and credibility. So embed this stuff into your mind, it matters. Recruiters want to know that you understand understand it. Anyway, insurance companies don't just take your money and report huge earnings. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that you may not even really be aware of. So essentially, insurance is a big pot of money for a community of people to share. Each person in the community pitches in so that if an unwanted, unexpected event happens to them that's financially going to be difficult for them, they are supported by everyone in the community. What happens if there's not enough money in the pot? Well, I'm going to get to that because it is something that does happen. But first, I think it's really important to understand why insurance companies actually do deserve to make money. So let's get into that. Essentially, they are the ones facilitating these huge groups of people. Sometimes they contain a thousand people or more. Plus, they are also the ones putting their hand up saying, if this pot of money goes dry, I am willing to pitch in the rest that's needed. It is an insurance company's job, and primarily the actuary's job actually, to figure out a fair price for each person to contribute to the pot. They're also responsible for following all the policies and regulations that are in place to make sure this pot of money is sustainable in the long term. That means that it's going to last decades or centuries into the future. Insurance companies also need to make sure that money is actually available at the time that someone suddenly needs it, and that could be thousands and thousands of dollars any given day. On top of all that, insurance companies work really hard to invest the money in the pot in smart ways so that more and more money is available in the future for the people that are inevitably going to need it. So what do they do with all the money that they make? Well, a large portion of it is given to people that actually needed it through claims. Plus, to make this all work, it requires hundreds of people like actuaries, accountants, lawyers with highly specialized skill sets. These types of people aren't cheap to hire. Trust me, I have seen the coffee budget for the accounting department and the actuaries, they love to snack. An actuary, for example, who is primarily responsible for making sure the whole system is fair, that people are contributing the right amount, and also to make sure that the pot of money is sustainable long term, well, those types of people can make $200,000 a year or more. And an insurance company needs lots of them. 
They also need advanced technology, offices, call centers, training, all the things that businesses typically need in order to succeed. So insurance companies need to afford all this, but do they really need to profit? I'm going to get to that, but if you have enjoyed this video so far and found it helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up to let me know and also so that more future actuaries going through this insurance ethics dilemma can find this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The insurance products that these companies are offering are allowing millions of people around the world to be able to live without the stress of what if haunting them around every corner. And because of that, insurance companies do make a profit and I believe they absolutely deserve to. They are a business after all and in order to stay in business, you have to make money. Otherwise, what's the point? But when insurance companies make a profit, that's actually a sign that things have gone according to plan or better. Unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. There are many times when insurance companies end up having to take some of the money that they've previously earned and contribute it back to the pot because there wasn't enough money in it to pay for all the claims and expenses that they needed to pay for. Surprisingly, some companies have actually had to stop offering certain types of insurance in certain locations because they were losing money, primarily due to climate change a lot of the time. That in itself is a whole other insurance issue, so if you want to learn more about it, which I absolutely encourage you to, I will link down below in the description to my best video on the topic. Now, it's no secret that insurance often gets a bad rap, but now you can go into an actuarial career realizing that you are going to be helping thousands of people and making a positive impact on their lives, even though they will probably never think of it that way. You're kind of like a superhero in disguise.